Dave fans. TTC, what's going on? Big Sean here. Now, for the past day or two, I've seen a few different videos on here talking about uh, uh, two-teamers and fans having multiple favorite teams and so on and so forth. So, um, I just figured I would chime in with my two cents on that. Now, for starters, as you all know, obviously, I'm, I'm Notre Dame all the way. And, um, to be honest, there's no other team that I will cheer for. The only time that I will cheer for another team is if they're playing another team that we need to lose. Like, you know, a, or in a situation where um, it will help Notre Dame, you know, get higher in the rankings and bowl position, so on and so forth. You, you know where I'm going with that. Um, but, no, other, other than that, that scenario... Notre Dame is the only team that I will cheer for. Now, um, as far as the family ties uh, part goes, um, to break this down, um, my mom's side of the family, with with few exceptions, nobody on my mom's side of the family really gives a shit about sports in general. Um, on my dad's side of the family, that's a different uh, scenario. That's a different story. Um, we're all Notre Dame. And there's really no other ties to any other school. I mean, my brother, he went to Southern Illinois for a couple of years, but really that technically doesn't count. Um, but, uh, no, Notre Dame is pretty much it. Um, I've had two uncles graduate from Notre Dame. I've had a cousin graduate from Notre Dame. And I have a cousin who's currently going to Notre Dame. Now, myself personally, I didn't go to Notre Dame. And, um, but... Even though I didn't go to Notre Dame, the passion is just as strong as if I did go there. Um, so yeah, I'm Notre Dame through and through, and there's no other team that I will cheer for. Um, and also to point out something else, um, I saw KGOH 1984 mentioned in his last video, or the one before that, about uh, other teams that I like. Um, and he's pretty much dead on the money. Um, when it comes to the, pro the professional ranks of uh, sports, I'm pretty much uh, all Chicago. All Chicago teams and so on and so forth. Um, I'm a Cubs fan. I'm a Bears fan. And even though I don't follow much of the NBA or the NHL, I pull for the Bulls and Blackhawks. Um, but the three main teams that I cover in depth are, of course, Notre Dame, um, the Chicago Cubs, and the Chicago Bears. And I've been meaning to make some more Bears videos, but uh, Notre Dame has had the stronger hype, I think, so far. But um, uh, I'll get around to doing that. Um, and I've had a, f a few people question me on this uh, when it comes to NCAA hoops. Um, um, on the hardwood, I'm also for the Irish as well. You know, I don't cheer for Duke or North Carolina or any other team that uh, seems to be stronger. Um, no, I I'm all about Notre Dame when it comes to hoops as well. But the only difference is, is when we lose in basketball, I mean, the loss sucks, yes, but I don't take a loss in basketball as hard as I do as if we lose in football. Um, because there's, let's just, I mean, mainly I think it's because there's more games in basketball than there is football. But anyway, that's to sum up uh, all the teams that I like. Um, now, as far as the whole situation with uh, multiple favorite teams goes, now... I pretty much agree with Mr. Big Dog when he talked about uh, diehard fans. Now, diehard fans, to qualify as a diehard fan, you cheer for one team and one team only. Now, when it comes to family ties, if you have mul uh, fa multiple family members that go to different uh, universities, so on and so forth, like uh, KJOH mentioned, you know, that's a different story. So I can understand where you, you know, go for multiple teams in that situation. Um, but no, I mean, when you're claiming to be a, a diehard fan of this team and that team and so on and so forth, I mean, how can you call yourself a fan? I mean, really, come on. If you're, if you're calling yourself a diehard a fan, there's only one team that you're cheering for. And that's how I see it. So, um, Perfect example of what I'm talking about here. This is something that I cannot stand. 
Um, back in high school, um, where I went to school, um, basically what it came down to is you were either an Iowa fan or an Illinois fan for the most part. But of course, there were a, were a few of us, like myself, who were Notre Dame fans. And uh, anyone who I went to school with can tell you that uh, when it came to Notre Dame football, I was the Notre Dame fan that stood out. I made sure that Notre Dame was well represented in, uh, in the area that I went to high school. But um, I remember there was this one kid in particular. He was a year below me. Now, his primary team was Iowa. He had uh, ties to Iowa, um, and I think that was about it. I don't think he had family members go anywhere else, as far as, as, far as my, uh, my knowledge goes. But um, now this kid was your typical uh, spoiled, uh, spoiled, rotten kind of kid. Um, you know, his family, they weren't filthy rich, but, uh, they were, they were pretty well off. I don't know what his parents did for a living, but they were well off. Um, they, they could, uh, they had, uh, more privileges than what, uh, the normal, you know, us normal people would. But, um, this kid, you know, he was, a your a typical bandwagoner. Okay, when Iowa was doing good... He would sport their gear, talk them up, you know, like a fan does. But then when they start, when they started doing bad, he would actually go out and buy jerseys of another team if that team won one major major game. Like I remember, uh, he during football season he ditches uh, Iowa gear and start wearing uh, like uh, Nebraska. He he went out and actually bought a Nebraska jersey. And then when Iowa started doing good again. He'd uh, start sporting their stuff, and then when they started sucking up, he'd go out and buy a, you know, a Michigan jersey or something like that. And the same went for basketball too. You know, he'd start off wearing the Iowa jersey, and then when uh, they started sucking it up, he'd go out, go out and buy an Oklahoma State jersey, and then a Syracuse jersey, and then eventually get back to Iowa again. I mean, you know, that's just horseshit. Uh, anyone who does that shit has no right to call them a fan. Um. You know, stick with one team, okay? And like I said, if you have family ties, that's different, okay? That's a different scenario, but as far as I know, this kid didn't really have any family ties outside of Iowa. But that's a, that's an example of what I'm talking about. That that stuff is just bullshit. You know, you stick to your primary primary team. Okay, a couple years ago when Notre Dame had a 3-9 and nine season or any of the five and seven seasons we had earlier on in, in this decade. You know, I didn't stop cheering for them. I mean, yeah, I was unhappy with them when they didn't do well, but I never sported another team's jersey because Notre Dame wasn't doing well. I'm Notre Dame through and through, and I will stick with them till the day I die. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on the whole uh, multiple teams thing. I mean, I just really don't see having multiple favorite teams, how you can just, you know, be a part of so many fan bases like that, you know, and say you're a diehard fan of multiple teams, it just doesn't make sense, I mean, it takes the fun out of it, if you want my honest opinion, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about the, the multiple team scenario, and, um, uh, before I go, I wanted to make a quick announcement, um, for those of you who, do, who don't know, I'm, I'm going to be at the Notre Dame USC game this Saturday. So uh to any of my uh, fellow Notre Dame fans on here if if uh if you're going to be there as well and you you know you want to get together before the game, have a couple drinks and talk football, you know, hey, uh just hit me up here on YouTube, leave me a instant message and uh we'll see what we can work out. And uh if you have an uh, an account on notredamefans.com, you know, just hit me up there. So uh yeah, if you want to get together, have a couple drinks, talk a little football, get a little buzzed, hey, I'm down for that. I'm always up for uh, meeting fellow members of the Notre Dame family. So, um, so yeah, that's really all I can say for uh, this video. So, um, with that being said, this is Big Sean. Go Irish, baby! Hell yeah!